Okay, cool. I think it should be fine. Um, okay, cool. So, over on the blue side, we have High Five with Enki on the Faustad, Tenyon on the Johanna, Focus 3GB on the Zagara, Moonlight on Karazim, and Alem Amok on the Gaming. Now, Komuto was actually used to be the tank player for High Five up until last Wednesday, so uh, it seems to have been a bit of a roster swap up here. Um, which I'm a bit interested in. Focus 3JB is going out to the middle, he's going to get some creep down, it looks like. The rest of the team gonna go and start blocking the minions. So over on the side of SKS, they're already set up in the middle. They're not blocking the minions. It looks like. <coughs> so the reason why they're doing this is they're gonna try and uh, let the wave come to about here instead of bang on in the middle, so they can clear it faster. This way, they're gonna be able to get on with their rotations before uh, SKS won't be able to. So as, as I said in the draft, we're gonna see uh, four-man rotations between middle and top lane most likely. Um, with one person solo in the bottom. So Grey Main versus Tassadai in that bottom lane it looks like. Chani just stood in this bush from Odin here, maybe looking for a pick, but Johanna's gonna face check that so nothing's gonna come of it. Trying to just walking in like a mountain. Uh, tanking everything up, not not even really taking damage. Moden taking a little bit of damage, that's the dwarf last way, but that's no trouble because he has his passive heal and he's going to heal back over time as soon as he's out of combat. A little bit of creep spreading already here, uh, quite nice uh, between this middle and the top lane. Johanna just moving in to take uh, these top gems. Let's have a look how this bottom lane is doing. So, Greymane can't really push against the Tassadar. Um, Teams don't overly want to push in this bottom lane as well because you, there's a chance of you losing your gems. Oh, it looks like we missed a kill in the middle lane. Uh, there's a kill over to uh, SKS right there, onto the Johanna. Fast side also being taken pretty low. But he's safe for now. Okay, cool. So, at the moment, team's pretty even. Um, SKS got a slight lead. Just pushing in with the zone top lane. So, this is what we see as well from. Uh, SKS, they're going to have Zul rotating between top and middle with the rest of the team, getting as much uh, of this passive off as he can, because when uh, minions die near him, they're going to turn into minions for his team instead. Looking back in this bottom lane, Greymane just uh, 1v1 in this task. So it looks like there may be a little bit of a gank here as Tarandi and Modin move down, but Greymane stood right in this opposite end bush. You'd be able to get away before anyone could uh, land anything on him. Johanna face checking this bush, um, that's a job, and she's going to walk in there and poke around with the mower then. So both teams got about half gems needed to pay right now, um, looking for a few more. We'll probably see more action once that first round of payment comes down. So I'm just going to mess around with my sound volumes a second guys. Oh yeah, that's, that sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, I felt like the game sound was too quiet. Okay. Moden diving in here onto the Karazim. Lands a stun on Zagara actually, followed by Root, and Zagara is going to go down there. Final Lunar Blaze onto him. No, he's not. He's still alive just at the moment, but yeah, he, he does finally drop. I didn't think he was going to get out of that one. Johanna also been taken pretty low there. Uses her unstoppable. The Root actually just connects on the last second of it, though. Lunar Blaze missing. Faustad getting hit. Buy some Lee Ming damage there as well. All this while, Greymane versus Tassadar in this top lane. So both teams really, really close to being able to pay right now. Uh, or at least um, SKS can pay. High five need like two more gems. So we're going to see who's going to get this first payment down here. About a quarter of XP lead at this moment in time for SKS, but that's really uh, not really too monumental. Four man roams still going on here as high five stayed together. Moving actually down to this bottom altar. Maybe they're going to try and pay, but Lotus, I'm not sure whether he was going to try and pay in that top lane uh, sort of a counter measurement, but he's going to come down here and group up with his team. All ten members of this uh, game are in the bottom lane, bottom mid lane right now. There's a lot of damage going down onto Moonlight. Karazim drops really low. Muradin used us to uh, dwarf us out there as well as he got traded back upon. High five coming out on top of that trade. Tassadar actually goes down really nicely in from the Greymane. A lot of damage onto that Zoli. Just survives by the skin of his teeth there. I don't think he's going down. Yeah, he is. Greymane's chasing him. 
And Lotus dives in on the moment and manages to get a pickup on Faustad and actually Dwarf tosses that wall to save uh, himself on the last second. Really nice heal from Swandy there just to save Li Ming on the last second. High five have to be a little bit careful that they don't overextend. And overall, pretty uh, nice fight for uh, High Five. Uh, SKS did manage to get some kills back. So, we got a kill on the Faust. I nearly managed to get another kill on Johanna as well. But, um, all, all in all, that went better for High Five. Uh, they managed to get the payment in after that fight. Um, they came out on top on kills. They're now about a quarter of a level ahead on XP when just before they were behind. It's really nice creep spread on the defensive part of the map. They're actually quite aggressive at the bottom. That's I was just trying to clear it out a little bit there. Came in going for a little bit of damage on two Hunzi yeah, at the bottom lane. Four members from High Five pushing in with this middle web weaver now. No cannon shots on these gates either, so this is most likely going to go down. The first tower drops, second tower dropping, and there's the gate down. High Five, after they've took this gate, they're going to move into the top lane. It looks like the top lane already been taken pretty low though. Zul did a pretty good job of being able to solo that top lane. Greymane managing to get the gate in bottom and there's half a web weaver here. Alright, so SKS are going to look to rotate up to top now it looks like. Coming in for a gank. Will Mode in land of Sunny. Dwarf tosses aggressively. Goes on to the Zagara. The root lands. There's going to be a follow up stun on this but he gets cleansed. Managed to get a protective shield as well to get out of that one and now Muradin's in trouble. He gets taken down. Hydra's doing quite a lot of damage there in the end. Uh, Zagara taking super low once again. Not really much mana left on him either. Root lands onto Karazim and there's the follow up damage from Li Ming, there's the resets and this is why people are picking her because she's fucking OP with the resets. And uh, there we go, really nice play overall. Oh, really, really nice Luna Blaze as well. Faust I'm saying peace slate right there. And uh, well SKS turn us around, they got a payment in for themselves and they're back even on XP. And that means quite a bit considering that they haven't taken gates yet they've got this XP to claim back um, sort of already been taken by high five so it'll be interesting to see how SKS uh, push with this one now whether they group as like four or five or whether they just try and push every lane at once uh, with like split positions three members up in the top lane at the moment I think they're gonna push every lane at once or at least try to Level 10 for both teams here. Pretty standard heroics on everyone it looks like. Is that a star fall on Tandy? I think it is. Yeah, it's a star fall to Andy. okay. Kind of feel like the Shadow Stalk is still really good. Um, just as an overall ability, like, it gives so much power in a team fight, the Shadow Stalk, uh, invisibility, and like just the healing that it does to everyone. Like it's quite a significant chunk in a team fight uh, between everyone. Uh, Johanna's taking quite a little bit of damage there. Starfall actually goes down. Mighty Gust um, disengages, but everyone's standing in the Starfall from High Five right now. And there's a Poison Nova on top of it. Well, that's a shit ton of damage there. Uh, Charism are already going down. Greymane follows. The Palm did get used as well. Oh, and there's a counter kill onto Zul. Um, at least they got something back for that 2 for 1 um, in favour of SKS right there and they managed to take this middle fort so they're nearly a level of XP ahead in total now got this middle fort down so they're structurally ahead bottom lane beginning to push quite a lot of gems actually on the side of both teams uh, 21 on Tassa here so both teams can pretty much pay again uh, right now high 5 need 5 gems and uh, SKS need 1 I was wondering if anyone was going to pick this wave up. Just walk into the tower there. Uh, so, team's starting to pay, it looks like. Oh, just a little bit too late to stop those seven, but it wasn't too big of a payment. And Faustad may find himself in a little bit of trouble there. Has to get cleansed out of that one. Really nice blast shield to stop the Muradin follow up. And Muradin's actually in trouble himself now, getting taken really low. There's a shield and a heal on him. Uh, he is blinded. Starfall does go down to try and. Uh, Okay, some pressure in that little gap, but the fight moves away from this position. Both teams disengage. So, Starfall is on cooldown now. Pretty much a majority of the heroics in the game are on cooldown. Poison Nova just coming up. Avatar just coming up as well. Johanna engaging on to the mode in here. Really nice Tassadar wall actually to stop the rest of the team collapsing on that. 
If I was dad flying in. Leeming's poke just missing out there. And there's Red Red Weaver, so SKS getting a payment in right now. Bottom lane quite stacked at the bottom. This is going to have to be cleared. Not too much trouble for Greyman, he has one of the best wave clears in the game. Got to be careful that no one gets picked off now. There is a talent advantage um, on the side of SKS, so. High five don't really want to look to engage now, they just want to uh, be safe, disengage, um, keep these web weavers off. I mean, they, in my opinion, they can just give up this outer tier of uh, forts right now, just say, you know what, fuck it, we, we, we don't care that much about the outer forts. We'll just clear the web weavers, we don't, we're not losing a keep. But if they end up having to have a fight with each other, chance that SKS will come on top, probably have a talent advantage. That's smart. Uh, a 5 5 to recognize that and just say, you know, oh, there's Karazim getting dived upon. Gets a follow up through, and is he going to go down? There's so much stuns there, but the palm just saves him. The staff all actually fucking that up because the team. Oh, he's, he's down anyway. The staff all nearly fucked up because it pops the palm even though the rest of the team stops attacking him. And that's kind of unfortunate that Karazim has gone down. I mean, High Five maybe could have realized that this rotation was coming faster. It was kind of obvious. I mean, we could see it coming, so maybe they weren't as aware. You see, the side of SKS has a really, really strong uh, like stunlock combo. They have the root from the Zork followed by a Modin stun followed by Tamandi stun uh, with Tamandi mark as well. So, and a boss has actually been started here. And High Five, actually High Five, do know that they're doing it. The Mighty Gust is available, but oh, I'm I'm really uh, anxious to see what's going to happen. Here. It doesn't look like High Five are getting there in time, and that's a boss going over to SKS. Tassadar while going down but not causing too much of a problem. Zul trying to get in the middle of the team to poison Nova. He already pops his bone shield. Gust to, uh, to disengage the Moradin on Tassadar. Really nice blast shield actually on three members. It's only taken pretty low but Johanna gets absolutely destroyed. Poison Nova goes down only connects on Greymane though. Greymane really deep as fuck right now. He's trying to get onto Tassadar and Sarandi but not quite able to. And that's a boss pushing against High Five right now. Um, they're going to have to deal with this one and uh, take this down as quickly as possible. It doesn't look like it's going to get too much uh, as SKS didn't choose to push with this. I'm, I'm slightly surprised SKS didn't actually choose to push with this. Um, I feel like if SKS did push with this, they could have got this fort because they would have had the 16 advantage. Um, but they choose to back out, look to make a payment. High five, really uh, in a little bit of a predicament here. To be honest, um, quite a few levels of XP behind right now. Behind four kills to twelve, in favor of SKS and Johanna looking to engage here, but they don't want to engage sixteen uh, advantage to SKS. I five needs to pretty much just tell right now. More than uh, nearly landing a hammer onto Faustad, manages to dodge it in time. And teams have to be careful right now. Um, well, high five has to be careful right now. They, they don't want to fight at all. Well, on the other hand, SKS, SKS want to go in right now. They want to cause a fight. They want a uh, hard engage, pretty much. So coming around the backside, is his poison over up? It's not quite. He's using his bone shield. Actually, lands a root onto Johanna. She's stuck in the staff hall, and Johanna has to have the palm pops, and the charism taken very, very low. They're being zoned out by the zone. The rest of his team's going down. Johanna drops. There's the resets. Greymane's going down after her. Zagara will most likely follow. Nice gust actually to just save Karazim and Zagara on the last second there. But overall this is not looking good whatsoever for a high five right now. So we're just pushing in the bottom and the top needs to be soaked. But they're, they're still two levels away from getting level 16. Um, it's not really the position at all that you want to be in. Um, SKS actually have enough gems to pay once again, and if I was SKS right now, I'd be calling do this bruiser camp, pay the fucking gems, we'll push your mid, we're getting a keep. Like, you can maybe even end as well. If they get this payment in on this camp at the same time, and do a five man mid push, they can dive so hard. Like, the gate's not here. They're gonna get disengaged by the Faustad Gust, but they can go straight back in again. Um, they can dive as hard as they want with the 16 advantage like this. Have they realised that <laughs> Zul is the one with the gem? Oh no, 
Uh, Swandy's gonna go and pay. So actually, Muradin gets caught out here. Really nice blessed shield. Could he go down? Um, Swandy's paying over at the other side of the map, and she actually gets the payment. Then the gust goes down now, which is not what they wanted us all because they needed that gust to help uh, gust to help disengage the tower. Uh, I mean the fort in a second, and that's that, that's really bad from high five right there. Um, yeah, Th this is most likely gonna be game right now, to be honest. I don't really think that was a good call at all to so try and fight in the middle of the map. Um, like, they kind of like hard engaged that I felt like. Um, okay, so they were trying to pay, that was why. I see. I, I, for a second there, I thought those were red web weavers, but. Um, <coughs> So yeah, fair enough if they if they were going to pay. I wasn't sure. I'd thought they were red web weavers for a second. I wasn't. Uh, I was too caught up in the fight that I just got down, and I thought that Swandy had paid in bottom because Swandy from SKS were like was like here paying while that fight was going down. So <clears throat> fair enough. That's that's a decent call then by High Five considering. I feel like they should have just paid then and disengaged if they'd have done that. I don't see why they engaged on top of. Uh, on top of paying, because that, that kind of what fucks me. If they'd have just paid them back out and soaked, I'm guessing they would have been 16 by now. I'm probably starting to get back in it, maybe look to another fight then. Um, before SKS can pay, because SKS, they're only two gems from paying right now. Lotus almost getting in. Not, oh, the Roachlings stop that. And literally, there's two gems that need to uh, be paid in from uh, from SKS right now. Lennox is trying to get a little bit of a sneaky payment in there. And high five are going to be 16 any second. I, I feel like um, SKS maybe should have just looked hard engaged that then um, instead of just trying to pay um, before high five got 16. But now high five are 16, they're on the same talent here. High five desperately need a fight right now. And as we say that, SKS finally get the payment in. But I, I just really feel like high five, like. They're trying to fight when they're level 15, and then as soon as they get the 16, they need to go for that and ha ha like just go in, like because right now they're going to be in uh, a pretty bad situation, to be quite honest. Because <laughs> um, these keeps are going to go down to these web weavers, pretty much, and then we have level 20 advantage on the side of SKS. So ideally, if High Five were gonna get a fight, they needed it before these web weavers dropped. And Johanna's actually engaging this one. Mighty Gust may come down from the the top here. There we go. I'm not overly sure what that did, to be honest. Uh, Zagara dropping on this backside. More lands only on one member, it looks like. And there's Lee Ming going down by the Grey Main, but High Five uh, in too much trouble here. I, uh, to be honest, I feel like High Five have been a little bit sloppy in this game. Um, not the uh, same level of performance that we've seen in pop in the community club the last few weeks. Few uh, strange players uh, in this game. I'm not sure about that. This flight in with the mighty gust then um, kind of got Zagara killed. The engage as a whole was pretty weird. I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like if they wanted to fight, they should have done it up at the spawn at, at the temple point as soon as they got level 16. Um, but oh well, fair enough. GG to SKS. Well played. And uh, SKS will be moving on to the second round here of this Zoltac Cup EU Hills of the Storm. Right, I'm going to throw uh, over to a little.